never mind. It's not Powie. It's Roy. Yep. Hadja, um, Hadja, Hadja, Hadja like, frequently, yeah, he, he alternates between, like, a whole cast of characters. I believe he also plays Crumb, um, every now and then. Yeah, I saw Crumb appear in the uh, bracket. I think I've also seen him play Wolf. So, mm -hmm. a lot of pretty staple characters, pretty solid overall. Go characters with uh, that reward fundamental play. If I'll put it like that. Other people in chat can put it however they do, they choose. You know, I never see Charizard play with so much up air than Beast does. Beast up airs so much, <laughs> and it works, and and keeps working. <laughs> An impressive dash dance to show off. And he is uh, sitting rather pretty. Just only, only hitting a hundred. I just, I just jabbed him a couple times, resetting the situation and getting the conversion. He knew that piece was gonna air dodge. Already so much damage from that upward side beat. Such a quick pace game already, I think. Um, why are you, why are you caring, man? I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I wish I could just like wag your finger with the finger and be like, man, shame on you. That being said, back here, able to scoop out Charizard being such a big and heavy target. Um, I really do agree with like um, the option to go for Roy here. I feel like Roy just does super, super well against all these characters. He's able to break space extremely well. His mobility, his big sword, we do so much for him here. That being said, Beast trying to cheat a little bit, took out his action replay, but didn't insert it all the way. Um, and as a result, wasn't able to download the light code. Extended metaphors are fun. That being said, right now Beast does not know how to deal with the shield pressure that Goy is applying with his jab. That move is so menacing. Um, it's, it, the, it's even on the weak spot. Like it is either you're spacing it so you can't get grabbed, or you're out of the way for most of the uh, for most conventional out of shield options, or you're getting the strong spot and the or the, the sweet spot and the shield's pushback, the shield stun on it is super strong that you're able to act first anyway. So, you know, Roy's, Roy's jab, it's a menace. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely really, really difficult to deal with. That being said, right now, Hydra, he's controlling the stage super well. I do want to say this is still completely doable for Beast. Um, you know, a character like Charizard are definitely extremely prone to comebacks. All he needs is one super solid read, and who knows what as early he could be taking the stock. Trying to set up the back hit of ba uh, neutral air into something. Not going to be able to find it, but could he get hit with the tip of the side beat, and thus it won't get linked into all of the hits. I'm, I'm waiting for the Flare Blitz tech chase to come in. Like, I'm, oh, oh, not the moment. Oh. Tonight. He's trying to set up something with the falling up in. That's the backfield goes off stage. Let's go too early. And he no, the no. Flare with the rip. No, Beast had it. I think he totally had it. Ah. Roy, you could taste it. But in the end, it didn't even matter. That doesn't even fit. Ugh. I hate that I said that. <laughs> It is okay, I understand. <laughs> and this is also best of fun. I need to remember that these things happen on Wi-Fi. I'm used to Xeno being all best of three. But there's no venue. It's just the internet. Rest in peace. Ready? Hopping right into it. Uh, yeah, Beast doesn't usually counter- Beast doesn't often- I don't often see him counterpick past PS2. Like, it's- mm -hmm. it's just PS2 days. He's from Florida, that's the only stage they play on. One, go! I can't even say that's true, but you know what? I believe it's true. I feel like it's true. <laughs> Beast often really gets off to really great starts, but I just play super solid throughout the entire game and 
Yeah, I, think, I do think he stop. did look really momentum based play. He can be fairly hot and cold sometimes. I think Hajju is just really consistent throughout. Um, though I do see him so, like sometimes, like you know, get a little bit spaghetti in some high pressure situations. That being said, right now tries to go through the two frame with neutral B. It's not able to land it though. Looking for the tech in with the downer, but he's wow. Oh, okay, okay. In there. Sour spot backer killing from a little past the ledge, a little inside the ledge. Jab bear. The classic, the jair. Okay. One one thing that is definitely something that I do like with both Roy and Rom, and, and besides that air dodge read, I did like that. Uh, it's a pretty staple air dodge read. Air dodging after jab is something that you'll see a lot of players do, but it's still nice. But uh, back air conversions at low percents at when you have like, Roy or Krom or Lucina or Marth, since their back air turns them around, you can often get like back air into forward air, back air into up air. Uh, mm -hmm. And Roy's airspeed just makes that super, super good. Since you can back air and drift into someone and just end up underneath them. Such a good directional air dodge out, by the way. Beast was definitely not anticipating like such an unconventional way of getting back to the stage. And honestly, like Haju made the most out of Roy's amazing fall speed there. That being said, after all, more than enough to take it, Beast spazzing out with his dash dances. He's hammering that joystick. They're gonna need a new deep, uh, GameCube controller. Yeah, oh, he did it again. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> He's like, do it, do it. I know you wanna. I know you wanna get back onto the stage. He saw his desperation to get back onto the stage, so he just waited. He anticipated the dodge, and he got a perfect punish on it. There really is nothing else to say about that. That it was just such an excellent lead. Hydra had positioned himself perfectly for it. Yeah, he's like he is. He's pushing. Beast into a corner, into a position where he thinks he has to pick a defensive option, and then he's just waiting for it. Mm -hmm. As we see him head right back in. <laughs> Beast is like in the in the same vein. Beast is one good setup away from taking both game one and two. Three, two so one, expect some explosiveness out of game three. So, some fireworks. This is on the fire. God, I need to stop. <laughs> that wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, man, quarantine has changed you. I know. I'm really sad. I, no, no. Like, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I hope that was you're doing great. Because okay, I'm worried about you. <laughs> I'm worried about Hydra after that downer. Oh, jeez. I have to rethink how you how you start to recover now. Also, I appreciate your concern. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. But I'm I'm laughing. I just can't tell if it's I'm laughing at a sad. <laughs> now is not the time for my psychosis. Man. I don't even want to say that. I know Hydra has to find a way to take the stock who else's game is going to start running away because Beast is a cheater. I was what waiting. What was that? Tech Square wins. He does it all the time. Holy Charlie, he does smash. Because I don't even think that was a two flame. I just don't think Hydra is not onto the ledge there. That being said, Hydra finally able to clutch out the stock with a late neutral at 160%. Goy, you know, once again, like, these are both really explosive characters. Um. But I just do think like Beast has all the momentum in the world right now. He is up a stock. It's quite a lead for himself. And again, like Hadra is a really, really sustained base player. So it's just gonna be um, you know, it just it's just like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for him to go back from this. That being said, he is able to keep it steady. He's trying to get this ledge trap, immediately goes through the down smash coverage, really, really smart. Yeah, you can see Hydra start to really push on the gas here, knowing he's at a deficit and knowing that, okay, I'm going to need to start making Beast panic a little bit more because he's feeling it right now. Neutral air, neutral air. Coming with the rising back air as the percents even up just like that after a slick one, two, three, four. I think, yeah, saw the down air. He saw the neutral air coming and drifted back to the uh, Panic, but Beast realized his mistake mid air dodge. 
Yeah, definitely gonna tell you five points to beat. Uh, crazy how Beast Rapid. had that crazy lead, and he has just about basically dropped it. So Beast is looking for the dash attack. He's looking for an F tilt right now. He really, really, really wants to get this game back. The up smash not killing at such not a good time. I guess not enough rage, and Beast 2 has a decent stealing as the backer still hits Charizard's tail, but he's uh -huh. not dead. Great weight from Charizard. Yeah, but, and, but the uh, neutral catches that's the jump, and that'll be it. Wow. What a comeback. Like, Hydra knew when to turn on the gas. He was at a huge deficit after being, like, especially after moments where your tech chases is hard, hard punished. You get killed by a, just a raw charge smash attack. Mm -hmm. He put on his boots, he tied his shoelaces, and said, it's time to get to work. And work he did. His sec beast second stock disappeared in a flash, and the final game ended with a... The final stock ended with just strong, like, strong offensive play. Mm -hmm. No, that point. Like, Hydra, really steady. He really held it down. Um, also, check the cast through chat. So, um, yeah, that's all. So, I can go if you want. It's up to you because I've like done the Xeno ones a lot. So, do you want to cast with Ajax? Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind getting off if you want to stay on, but I also likes commentating, so you know, I'm different. Okay, you know what? Um, I'll let it off for the night. You know, you can cast with Ajax. Uh, uh, so just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for. Uh